They go to cut down the tree. She instead sits down on a log and begins to sharpen her axe. And the first woman says, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Why aren't you out here like me cutting down the tree? The second woman paid the first woman no mind. See, sometimes this is why we have the wrong friends in our camp. Because if you look at them, they've been spending too much time doing the same thing and they have no results. I'll, I'll get back to that later. But again, the second woman is sharpening her axe. And she spends about, let's just say, two hours sharpening her axe. She eventually gets up and she goes to the first tree. The tree falls down. Goes to the second tree. The tree falls down. Goes to the third tree. The tree falls down. The first woman looks at the second woman in amazement and says, I don't get it. I have been out here doing the same thing that you have been doing, yet I've been out here for hours. Tell me what is your secret? Y'all know it, right? She says simply, she said, oh, it's so simple. I just decided to sharpen my ex. Now the thing about this story that's so powerful is that we forget the importance of sharpening our minds, sharpening our wallets, sharpening our hands, sharpening our feet, sharpening our friends, right? That sometimes, again, remember I talk about how we're so tired? We're so tired and the reason is because we're not sharpening anything. We'll spend time on the earth for 30, 40, 50 years not sharpening anything and wonder why we are so tired. Because we have not decided to get steel and to sharpen our axe. Your greatest strategy is in how you sharpen yourself. Not in how you sharpen another person, not how you tell off another person, but how you decide to make the choice to sharpen yourself. A lot of times it's hard for us to stretch because we don't want to sharpen ourselves. We don't want to get out of the box of comfortability and this goes for every area in our lives. Even to dating where we realize that it's not just us dating them, it's our wallets dating them, it's our minds dating them, it is our vaginas dating them, and it's also our kids dating them. Right? And we forget that it's not just about dating or relationships, it's about the fact that my ex is too valuable to cut down just anything. And my ex is also too valuable to waste my time sweating, 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 and not cutting down anything. I want to encourage you, that's why I came, I want to encourage you today and tonight that I want you to literally marinate. I, I almost want to give it to you this way. I want you to meditate about your imagination. <laughs> I, want to end tonight. I want you to think about your imagination and I want you to really think about what are the things that I stopped thinking were possible for my life no matter what my age was. No matter what my circumstances were, what were the things that I stopped kicking and fighting for because life drew out my energy? I was cutting down this tree and I've been getting so much, I've been getting so tired. Just tired, just tired, just tired. I, I remember I'm 27. I remember when I was 25, I felt like a failure because I didn't feel like I had achieved enough. Built three companies, sold one, right? I was out here consulting with mega church. Felt at 25 that I was a failure. Talk about the lies you want to tell me. <coughs> Felt like a failure. And then I began to think about it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Something is not right. You know what was not right? It was because I wasn't getting steel. So you could be successful all day, but if you don't get steel, you will lose your strategy. So I begin to get steel. And whether or not you are religious or not, there is an inner voice in you. I don't care what religion you believe in or whatever, there's an inner voice in you. You can call it your conscience, not your conscience, it's that inner thing in you, okay? And the thing about it is that sometimes because we're around so many voices, we, we get so confused that we lose focus. And so what I want you to do, I want you to focus in, you don't have to do it now, I just want you to think about this and think about what have I stopped <coughs> fighting for? What have I stopped believing for that I know belongs to me? Because I don't want you to keep on coming to events like this and your life resume be the same every year. At some point, you've been through too much to not have what you desire. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I know for me, I've been through too much crap to not have my life resume updated at least, at least once a quarter. Okay? Well, listen, I've been through too, I've been through too many bad relationships to go through more crap. Okay, I've been through too many bad friendships to keep on being around bad people, right? So it's that whole thing where I want you to really think about on the canvas of my imagination, let me paint a new picture. Let me paint a picture that says, you know what? 
not only have I been through too much stuff, but you know what? I'm about to get some stuff that I have been designed for a long That's time. That's it right there. I'm going to put myself first, not because I owe me, but because I deserve this. Yes. Like, it's, it's crazy how many women I've met that have been through so much heartache and so much hell that they don't believe that they deserve heaven on earth. I deserve the best. I deserve a good life. I deserve good love. But remember, if I don't sharpen myself, hold on, if I don't sharpen myself, I won't have what I desire because I will keep on accepting the wrong things. Get it? So if you don't sharpen yourself, you can say I want a good man all night long. But if I keep on laying down with the wrong ones and not sharpening my legs, okay, you're going to be, something else going to be sharpening you, okay? It ain't going to be good, okay? So you got to learn. I have got to fight for me. Everyone say, I've got to. Fight for me. Come on, say, I've got to. Fight for me. Say, I'm worthy of fighting for myself. Say, I'm worthy of fighting for myself.